Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today I want to bring you um, some ideas for presenting uh, CC Cycle 1, Week 24, hands-on science experiment, which is our compass walk. So congratulations, we made it to week 24, and we're going to be talking, uh, taking a compass walk today. So <clears throat> ideally, you'd like to have compasses for all your students, or they could share, take turns, and we're going to learn about what the parts of a compass are, kind of observe it and see what, what we notice about a compass. And we're going to learn about why we use a compass and how does it actually work. So you can you can start by talking about, about the earth, you start by talking about the compass, um, however it fits well into your, your science plan. Um, I'll go into a little bit about the, the sun's, or not the sun's, the earth's um, magnetic field. So I have Nicole Leon's document here and she has a, a really neat graphic of what we imagine the earth's magnetic field looking like. And so um, why does the earth have a magnetic field? And it's because of what is happening inside the earth's core. So we have a um, one of the parts of the geosphere, we have the core, mantle, and crust, and then we have the hydrosphere, biosphere, atmosphere. So in the middle of the earth, we have a core, and that's made up of a, an inner core and an outer core. So the inner core, they believe it's solid. Um, it's solid metals and minerals, and it's got a lot of metal in it. And then the inner core, the outer core, I'm sorry, um, the, the inner core is solid, the outer core is more liquid. And it's moving, um, the earth is spinning, and so those liquid metals inside the inner core, they are also spinning and rotating, and there's some convection going on. We learned about how the hot air rises, well also you know the hot liquid rises, and the cool moves in underneath. So there's kind of this cycle going on and that creates a magnetic field. It helps create a magnetic field that surrounds our earth. And it, you can imagine it looks kind of like this. And it, one of its jobs is to protect the earth from um, like solar radiation, solar particles, um, things that can be really harmful for life on earth. So it's like this shield that protects the earth which is really awesome. And so um, her graphic also shows, we can imagine there's like a magnet on the inside of the earth. So if you've ever seen a bar magnet, you'll see one side is labeled with an N for north and an S for south. So there's two sides to a magnet. And so we can imagine, and actually for the, for the earth, the south um, pole of the magnet actually is in the north, and the north part of the magnetic field is in the south. So um, that is why when we have a compass, um, because opposites attract, the north part of our needle is always attracted up to this part of the earth because that's where the south side of our magnetic field is pointing. So um, north is always attracted to south, so it's going to go this way. And one thing you can note too is that the um, the magnetic pole up here is not exactly where geographic, the geographic North Pole is. It's a little bit tilted. So um, when you're following a compass, you're going pretty close to North, but not quite exactly. So that's kind of gives them a basic idea of, okay, what's happening inside the Earth to create a magnetic field. The mag magnetic field helps protect us from um, particles from the sun that would be harmful to life. And when we have a compass that's magnetic, it the, the north part of our needle is attracted um, to our north up here. And so why does a compass work? And, and Nicole Liam, she goes into some history behind how uh, people first discovered um, that there was this, uh, in China, there was, they discovered lodestone, which is a mineral, or a, yes, and that's magnetic. And uh, they noticed, like, when they would float it in water, that it always pointed north. And so they started 
using that to help them know like for navigation to know where to go like if we know okay this stone always points to the north so this can help me figure out where to go and so they realize also that they can magnetize pieces of metal like a, a needle like a sewing needle if you rub it against a magnet if you rub it against the lodestone that needle becomes magnetized and it becomes a magnet so you can go home and make your own compass by magnetizing a needle and putting it like on a piece of cork and floating it in some water and it will point north so when we take a look at our compasses they also have a needle and that needle is going to point to the end point north um, depending on what your compass looks like, you may notice other features. There's usually a dial. Sometimes it has numbers like degrees, um, but it'll usually have north, uh, south, east, and west marked on it. And that's what um, you're going to use to help you navigate. And so today's compass walk, you may have uh, directions, you may have a map, um, maybe say, you know, your direction would be take 10 steps north take 12 steps east and you can make like a treasure hunt out of it um, have your students follow a certain path with their compass and maybe find a treasure box uh, at the end i think our campus is going to have some cool um, minerals and rocks in our treasure box that the students will get to choose from so have fun just kind of making your own little course so um they'll just practice um with their with their compasses pointing okay the needle tells us where north is and if we need to go east we're going to turn this way and our our needle will still be pointing to the north and we know that we can go directly this way and that will be east and you know whatever your directions may be so it's just kind of an introduction to the kids to get them um learning about what a compass is and how we can use it um they use it um for you know traveling the seas explorers use that to sail across the seas and explore new lands um, very really helpful when you're following a map so um, there's lots of helpful things that we use compasses for and our just understanding that our magnetic field is really something that is um, like a protection like a shield for us so those are some talking points um, that you can use for week 24 and it's been a great year and um i'll see you guys next time